dear clients, welcome to Philip Capital's weekly market watch. I'm Colin Tan, analyst from Philip Securities Research. Today, I will share with you on Silver Lake Access Limited. Silver Lake Access is a leading provider of core banking solutions for banks and financial institutions since 1989. Over 40% of the top 20 largest banks in Southeast Asia use a Silver Lake system. Since 2010, it has expanded its software offerings to include enterprise solutions for the payments, insurance, retail, and logistic industries via several acquisitions. Some of its key strengths include an excellent track record of 100% successful system implementations and a wide customer network in ASEAN market. We like Silver Lake Axis for the following key investment merits. First, Silver Lake will be able to capitalize on regional demand for core banking transformations with its key market in ASEAN and establish competency among core banking vendors. Demand for implementation and enhancements for core banking systems will come from expansion and consolidation between ASEAN banking industries, migration from existing legacy systems, and digital trends in internet and mobile banking. Silver Lake may also stand to benefit from the growth in the Islamic banking and finance as it offers an Islamic version of its core banking solution to cater to this niche segment. Second, Silver Lake earns annual recurring revenue with every successful implementation of its licensed software system. Software licensing typically accounts for about 40% of the contract value with 60% in project services. Future recurring maintenance will be based on 15-20% to of licensing fees. Recurring revenue makes up about 45% of revenue in FY13. Third, Silver Lake boasts superior margins above its peers due to higher margin contribution from its software licensing. Lower labor costs may have contributed to better margin as well. The company also enjoys a special tax allowance on its Malaysia-based income under MSC Malaysia, an initiative by the Malaysian government to promote the growth of its infocom technology industry. Fourth, Silver Lake operates on a solid cash-generating business model with hardly any debt. CAPEX has been less than 2% of its revenue on average over the past 5 years. Currently, it has a net cash balance of 373 uh, million ringgit due to increasing cash flows from operations and a share placement in mid-2013. Shareholders are also rewarded with a high dividend payout in recent years since 2010, offering dividend yield of more than 3%. Lastly, with the expansion and enhancement of its software solutions, not just for the banks, but also for payment, logistics, retail, and insurance businesses, Silver Lake will have increasing business opportunities. With several acquisitions made since 2010, it is able to derive synergies from these acquisitions to integrate new technology platforms and expand its customer base. We like Silver Lake Axis based on its investment merits and excellent growth potential in its key Asia market. Apart from potential projects for its existing customer base in ASEAN, we believe it has growth opportunities in China, Hong Kong, Japan, and MENA region. We initiate coverage with a target price at $1.02 with expected dividend yield of about 4%. That is all that we have for you today. Look forward to Friday's weekly market watch. The topic will be posted on Philip Capital's Facebook page. Any questions, any comments on Friday's topic, please drop them via Facebook and Twitter. We want to hear from you. Thank you.